Hey everyone, it's Jennifer from stampwithjennifer.blogspot.com and I want to do a quick video to introduce you to my paper pumpkin. Um, it's a program from Stampin' Up! where you get a kit in the mail each month. Um, it says you're moments away from your escape. So it's a magical kit just like the magical pumpkin in Cinderella. Um, you get a red box in the mail. And this is the first kit you'll get when you sign up for My Paper Pumpkin. Look at this, how cute! Blue tissue paper. I've already ripped it to mine, so it looks a little used. Um, you get a little welcome with some information. And then you get your kit. Um, your kit, your first kit, which is this one, uh, whenever you sign up, includes Clear Block D. Open this up so y'all can see. And so there it is. And some supplies. This first kit uh, has supplies to make four cards. Okay, so this is the card um, that you can make. And of course, it has instructions. And by the way, my paper pumpkin comes with uh, exclusive stamps and accessories and things that you won't see in our uh, big catalogs. So here are the four card bases, your stickers, your embellishments, um, in this case buttons, and four envelopes. Oh, and the designer paper. Four pieces. So each kit is different. If it's a card kit, it might make three to eight cards. Um, there could be home decor. There could be um, uh, uh, like journals, just whatever but it's a surprise every month. This is the only kit we got to see ahead of time, so whenever you sign up, you'll get this kit, but the following month, even I won't know what we're getting until we get it. And the stamps that come with this kit are so cute, and I'm going to show you. I have two of them. We got one free at Stampin' Up's Leadership Conference. This is, these are the two stamps that come in this kit. Again, these are exclusive. You only can get them through My Paper Pumpkin. Uh, there's a splatter stamp and hey there friend that's the cutest one that everyone loves and then you get a basic gray stamp and spot um so i'm going to show you how to use these um the clear block wherever i put that only comes in the first kit you'll save that and use it in all your future kits with the different stamps you'll receive um so i'm going to pull in the supplies here uh, to make one of the cards you can see i've already made some and uh, my stamps and then I'm going to show you some samples of other cards you can make with this kit. I have lost my stamps. What did I do? Oh, excuse me. Okay, um, so I'm going to make the card that's actually pictured here, um, but keep in mind you can do whatever you want. Turn stuff different directions, tear, sponge, you can add accessories and embellishments and other stamps. So we're, we are just going to make this one um, for my demonstration. I've already assembled this stamp. If you don't know how to do that, easy. Go over and check out my video on how to assemble stamps. And I'm going to breathe on this block, which will make it um, just make my clear, uh, excuse me, my stamp stick a little bit better. Hold it for like 10 seconds. And then you'll have your stamp on there. Uh, and you guys know how it is. You can see through it and all that. So I'm just going to use this sort of as my instructions. Even though there's written instructions. Who needs that? I've already cut that open. One thing you'll notice. I would recommend trimming this excess off with scissors. But... With your little stamp and spot, if you ink it up this way, you can avoid getting ink on these edges because you can see what you're doing. So that's a benefit to the stamp and spot. And it's refillable. That's basic gray. So if it dries out, you can purchase a basic gray ink refill. And your it'll last you forever. So there's that. And of course I would clean this off, but for the sake of time, I'll go ahead and get this stamp ready for when that... Uh, section comes. Hold that for 10 seconds. You could do both at one time if you were doing something special like that. So for this one what I'm going to do is go ahead and place those stickers on here so that I can see where to put the splatter. Um, again I'm just looking at this example uh, to make the finished project. 
And these are self-adhesive die cuts, actually. Stampin' Up! doesn't sell stickers. And um, they stick, but your, to attach this to your card and any embellishments, there is not other adhesive in your kit. So I recommend having some mini glue dots on hand. Um, they're like $4.95 for 300 dots, and of course those are available through me. And some snail adhesive. So I'm going to place this on here and pull off. I don't want to touch my dot and place that on there. And then this sticker, so I'm using my last sticker. They're gone now. I'm going to place it here. And I believe these are repositionable. So if you place it where you don't want it, you can gent very gently lift it up and move it around. Um, and same thing here. There's a lot of excess rubber, so I'm going to ink it this way. Or you could trim that down either way. And then just look and see how it is turned on the sample. And there you go. Now let me grab my adhesive and finish this card. Um, one thing to note, there is a, a Stampin' Up! logo on the back of this card. So if you are concerned with, you know, up and down, you'll want to pay attention to that. So, and then I'm just going to center this. And that's how easy... And I literally made these other three cards yesterday in like five minutes or less. So they say you can complete the My Paper Pumpkin Kit in 30 minutes or less. Um, and I guess that would include us putting your stamp together and everything because it really took me maybe 10 minutes at the most, at the max, to make these cards. And I did get these ideas for the different designs from the internet. I think these two. Um... But, of course, you could come up with your own idea as well. So, how do you sign up? You go to MyPaperPumpkin.com and enter the information. Of course, choose me as your demonstrator, unless you already have one. Uh, Jennifer Cotton in Midlothian, Texas. And you set up your own account. You can cancel it at any time. You can uh, put it on hold at any time. And you will get a surprise happy mail in the month. Uh, in the mail every month, excuse me and um, get some exclusive stamps and images and other things. We don't know what's coming. It's very exciting. So I hope to see you soon again at stampwithjennifer.blogspot.com. Thank you.